Hi guys, my name is Give Mama Goju, and today I want to show you how you can access data from IMF. And IMF is the abbreviation that stands for the International Monetary Fund. Okay, so yeah, now it's time for you to go to Google and on Google um, search bar type IMF. Okay and press enter on your keyboard and now you know click on this link that will pop up on the google search results and this should take us to the international monetary fund okay before i show you how to access data uh, mind you we are also going to access data like uh, we have accessed um from the world bank website okay we are also we are going to access data such as the gdp for a country or the revenue or the gdp per capita that is the revenue that a country makes per person we're also going to uh, access a lot of cool uh, and meaningful data a, a from this website the international monetary fund website so before i show you how to access data let me uh talk a little bit about the international monetary fund so the international monetary fund is a special united nations agency that was founded at the Bretton woods conference in 1944 with the aim to secure international monetary cooperation and to stabilize currency exchange rates and to expand international liquidity okay so um, you know the imf does also other cool uh, roles such as uh, providing loans that um, emergence loans to member countries that are experiencing actual or potential balance of payments problems right and their aim is to help them rebuild their international reserves, uh, stabilize their currencies, continue paying for imports, and restore conditions for strong economic growth. So the the, the overall uh, goal of the IMF is to promote economic growth in the world and to make sure that the Great Depression doesn't okay again okay so having said that let's come back to this wonderful website um, the international monetary fund website okay so we want to access data here right so as you can see here uh, on their menu bar let's go to this section okay and when we hover over the data menu item you see we we, we we see there's a we see a drop down menu here and here we have to click on world economic outlook databases okay click on that and let's see okay perfect so when you click that this page it will lead us to this page which is perfect okay and we've just taken a shortcut there <laughs> perfect right so here as you can see we can choose to uh, access the World Economic Outlook database for April 2021, or we can choose to access for October 2020, April 2020, October 2019, April 2019. So um, let's just access this World Economic Outlook database. So um, perfect, right? Right. So here we want to access the world economic uh, outlook by countries okay so we just uh, click on countries there and perfect so here we are, here we get this page that is showing all countries advanced economies euro area major advanced economies just the g7 emerging markets and developing ones so let's just choose sub-saharan africa because i want to access data for uh, Zimbabwe right so as you can see uh, it leads us to this page and on this page 
um, all these countries are selected so we have to deselect all these countries and select the only one country that we need which is Zimbabwe so we need to clear okay we press this clear and then you just click on this to select it okay and you press continue perfect and then we get to this page select subjects right here it's saying gross domestic product constant prices right so we just want to select this perfect and let's choose the percentage as well perfect we can choose a gross domestic product current prices national currency oh yes that's good well this is constant prices and current prices okay and then we can choose here gross domestic product current prices in usd okay perfect so you can even choose a lot of cool fundamentals here these are macroeconomic fundamentals which are um, that, that we want to choose here like uh, you can choose the average inflation average consumer prices right you know choose the volume of exports so imports you know the population you know general government revenue right so when it says national currency it's the you know the country specific currency right so you can even choose a lot of uh, cool fundamentals here like you know a lot of all these you can choose and add to your selection okay depending on what is your goal uh, or depending on what you want to achieve with the data okay perfect so this is just uh, what i wanted to show you and then once you're done selecting all the fundamentals that you want then proceed to this continue button there and you will see uh, here you have to choose the debt range okay so i'm gonna choose 20 um 2016 to 2020 and then i will choose prepare report cool so now see now they have compiled uh, you know according to what we have chosen there so the country zimbabwe subject descriptor gross domestic product constant prices gross domestic product uh, constant price percentage change you can even view your data here you know but the best way is to download your data that is download report which is perfect and as you can see here i will open this data set via excel and let's say let's just wait a little bit uh let's see the file could be corrupted uh, let's just open perfect as you can see this is our data you know containing all the fundamentals that we have uh, selected see billions see we can even make make this big okay so see this is perfect okay so this is all i wanted to 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 to, to show you guys so you can even analyze your data here you know you can check and do all sorts of things you know create visual visuals data visualizations analyze you know take the data that you want uh, which is uh, lacking so this is all I wanted to show you guys thank you for watching this tutorial